Hey everybody, uh, it's been a while since I uh, last did one of these videos for this website so I thought it was about time I put the finishing touches on it. Now uh, last time we were doing this we had just got around to adding categories through our administration page and like so, add, delete and edit and we had stock items that sat inside those categories. The only problem is of course there are no images in there so in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to dynamically load images in here for our uh, stock items and then from that point on I'll start doing some videos that show you then how to actually add these stock items to whichever category you want and also to upload images with them. So today first we'll just enable those images so uh, here we are on my category page you can see that we've got the various um, items and no images and if we go into their pages there are no images appearing there either so let's fix that. now. Uh, to start with, just to re-familiarize myself with this database, you notice each item has two fields, one called thumbnail and one called big photo. Excellent naming convention. <laughs> um, and the thumbnail image is the one that will appear on our category page. The big photo will appear on our item page. Right, so in Notepad here, um, here's our category page. Actually. First things first actually, open up the style sheet as well and if you scroll down and find the item class, uh, when I was just doing a bit of revision for this I realized that this height is not quite high enough. I'm just going to change that to 200 pixels. That will give us plenty of space so we don't end up with um, anything getting too, too tight, too close together. So there's uh, the item class, change the height to 200 pixels, so save that. Then returning to the category page, uh, you notice in our query here we, we selected the stock ID which was necessary for our dynamic link, uh, then the name of the item, the price and also the category name. We are going to need to select the name of the thumbnail image. Now that's from the stock table, so stock dot thumbnail, and then don't forget the extra comma. So that will now bring back the, um, the bit of information under the thumbnail column. And then down here in our do while loop we were displaying all the items uh, I'm just going to put the image just above the name so I'm just going to clear a line there above where I display the name add, an, oops, add another paragraph tag and inside that paragraph I'm just going to put an image so that's the image source equals and then close that off now for me the source of the image um, is going to be in my images folder and then I want the name of that image. So I need to actually then use my PHP again to display that. So PHP tag, we're going to echo from that stock record set. The piece of information we want is the thumbnail. Semicolon and close the PHP. Okay, so that should display the thumbnail uh, image from the images folder in that paragraph. Okay, so that should behave now. And um, it occurs to me as well, I think, when I test this, oh, some of them are there and some are not. And why, oh, right, that's right, forgot. Uh, in, the, um, in the description of the video, actually, you'll find that there is a, there's a link to go and get all the files. And uh, in the images folder, there should be a whole bunch of these thumbnail and big photo images so I would just copy those and make sure that they go into your images folder. I just realize now that I don't have them all in there. So pop them in there now. So now all my images are sitting inside my images folder. So now when I refresh this, there we go. So you can see my images are appearing. So if I go to pants, there they are. And also you notice that they are acting as links, which is rather useful. Okay, so that's the thumbnail image appearing and they should all match. Now the name of those images is being pulled from the thumbnail column here in our database. Okay, so now if I go to the item page, we just want a slightly bigger image there. So just return to notepad, let's open up item. And again, we're selecting in our query, we're selecting everything from the stock table, so we're bringing back the big photo image. Uh, and I'm actually just going to put that at the top here. 
above the uh, the rest of the information. You can put it obviously wherever you want, and this formatting is going to be terrible. Uh, so feel free to improve this with CSS. But again, I've got my stock RS record set. You can see that there uh, up above. And this time it's big photo. Except that, why am I echoing that? Let me get that right. Sorry. Uh, we actually need to before I do the PHP. Actually need to put in the image source. Don't we? My bad. Sorry. And then inside the uh, image source is the folder where it's coming from. Images. And then we dynamically pull down the name of the image. So that's where we go to our record set and pull back the piece of information, in this case called Big Photo. All right, so you can see I've got a little self-contained piece of PHP sitting there inside the source of the image. So I'll save that and keep our fingers crossed that that works. So if I click on my Starfish Cotton Spandex, and there we go, there's the big image. Uh, I'll go back to Jackets. There we go, so you can see we're getting the uh, the full size images and like I said the formatting is appalling uh, I apologize for that it's not really my my strength but now we have a site where our images are all are all loading dynamically and they are matching the information that has been retrieved from the database so uh, next time what we'll do in our admin form is we're going to add the ability to add stock items so we'll put that into our admin panel and we will be able to add new items along with the thumbnails and the big photos